customer's bike who rolled his bike up on the dyno yesterday, and it didn't run very impressive numbers. It was about 176 horsepower. Well, it seems like it has all the right things done. It has a CT Meg, it has a PC5, but 176 is obviously not correct. So what we did, we're gonna roll it up here, make a baseline pass today, a couple of them just to see where we are, and then we're gonna take it back to our trailer and see just exactly what small details maybe haven't have been followed, put it the way we think it should be, and see what kind of difference it makes. I tell everybody, producing power on the dyno is, is, is a difficult task. Making power levels go down is the easiest thing in the world. So it's gonna, I'm sure it's gonna be something very small. We'll find out exactly what it is, document, document what we're doing, and see what kind of results we get after this test. Appreciate the consistency. 176 horsepower, two pulls in a row. That's horrible. We're gonna fix it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna attack the items that we know we've had problems with in the past. The, the dyno shootout is running a little bit short. They're gonna be shutting down soon. We don't really care exactly which item solves the problem. We know that it's a combination of items, so we're just going to put in our known good combination. First thing we're going to do is remove his aftermarket air cleaner. It's a Gauls based street filter. We know from our own testing that Gauls based street filters typically get over oiled. They don't flow as well as stock. We're going to put the stock BMW air cleaner back in. BMW engineers spent millions of dollars to make sure this is a great product. We believe it's a great product, so we're going to stick it back in. The other thing that we're doing right now, we don't know what kind of oil is in his bike, so we're going to put in our Allison less than zero weight oil. We also have an additive that I've used for 10 years. I just love it. It's called Petron. Works wonders. clean to clean up his chain because regardless of how much horsepower you have it has to get to the rear wheel before the dyno can read it. Another thing we're going to change is that Will showed up to the dyno shootout with his noise reduction plug for a CT single. The noise reduction plug is a great tool to reduce the noise of your system. It's wonderful for making highway trips but it's just not the thing that you show up to a horsepower shootout expecting to make optimum numbers with. We're also going to install some VP MR12 race gas to try to get the, uh, the backs of the valves from becoming too carboned up, also the pistons. Ordinarily, we would put in some of our winds power charge, but time just won't let us do that. So we're going to attack these problems right now. About the only other variable, uh, the bike does have a, uh, have a different tire on it than we're used to using. If it doesn't throw up the kind of horsepower numbers we expect, we'll come back here and hopefully have time to change the tire. Otherwise, We'll make these quick changes and see what kind of power we can produce after the 176 that it just put up on the boards. for noise reduction. Not exactly the best for peak power. It doesn't kill everything, but you just don't want anything blocking your exhaust when you're in a dyno shootout. You just have to use the right tool for the right job. That's all. I've been using the Petron for about 10 years now, maybe more. I use it all the time. It's a great way, especially if you're drag racing, to increase your clutch life, increase his mile an hour. I've actually made passes down the drag strip where one of my crew forgot to uh, put oil in the bike. It's fantastic. I use it as additional insurance. You don't have to put it in all the time. We put it in every, every other oil change in uh, very uh, you know serious applications. 
we've got a big stroker engine that with a billet crank that's hard on bearings. We run it all the time in street applications. We may only put it in every every third oil change, but it's very good stuff. I recommend it highly. It's had, it has solids in it, so it's very important to uh, to shake the bottle. And then we're gonna we're gonna end up uh, putting it in the bike and immediately going for a ride. Five to ten miles is all you need. You just don't want it to. Uh, you don't want the patch on. You don't want it to. Uh, the, the solids in it to fall down into the bottom of your oil pan and not get run through the engine. That's really the only reason that we uh, we shake it up and immediately go for a ride. The oil we're going to install is Allison Pro Drive 21. It's less than zero weight. Now that scares people. It doesn't scare me at all in stock engine applications. We've had BMWs all weekend at the BMW Proof Horsepower Shootout at Wyotech throwing up 200 horsepower like it's no problem. Uh, would I run less than zero weight in a, you know, in a in a large displacement application where I'm idling in traffic all the time? Probably not. But generally, if you have a stock engine and good health, the less than zero works fantastic. It's a great way to make power. In the Performance Center BMW, where we ran, where we rode the bike 700 miles to the drag strip from Greenville, South Carolina, to West Palm Beach, Florida, when they asked if they should change the oil. This is exactly what I sent them. It's fantastic stuff. You don't have any problems with it whatsoever. Works great for wet clutches. Works great for drag racing. Uh, works great for the street. We have customers that spend half of their time on uh, doing track days. The other, uh, you know, the rest of their time split between street riding and drag strip runs. And uh, the less than zero works in all applications. Allison is a company most people don't know about. They specialize in aerospace products. They have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, oils, additives, and lubricants that they uh, they produce for NASA. Uh, and I have the utmost in confidence in their products. I've been using them for many years. Also, that's why we sell it. We use what we sell, and uh, if it doesn't if, if it doesn't work fantastic, we don't use it. We don't sell it. We don't endorse it. You won't find it on our website unless it works, and that's why we sell Alice. Next on our little group of goodies is Allison Synthetic Chain Lube. Like I said, they make a fantastic product. I love using the Allison. And they just never let me down. You never have any problems with it. This is uh, this this will prevent rust. It doesn't fly off. That's that's fantastic when you're using the BST wheels. You don't want to gunk them all up. It's a great product, and I can't recommend it highly enough. Okay, we put our Allison in. Looks like we're at the very bottom of the window. Now we're going to dump the entire contents of the Petron in and start it up. Okay, I'm here with Will Torres. He, he just put his bike up on the dyno a minute ago. It, Ran the same 176 horsepower, which for the BMW S1000RR, our product line, is absolutely dismal. So we took it back to our trailer, we changed a couple things around, we put the stock air cleaner back in, we moved the uh, CT single noise reduction plug, we changed the oil, we added a, um, an additive, our Petron Plus additive, we cleaned and lubricated the chain. I believe that's it. Will, we had you go out and do a, uh, a quick ride just to break in the additive uh, and the oil. Um, did the bike feel okay? Did it feel any different? Uh, a little more punchy. Okay, a little more punchy. You'd have to be running around at probably 14,000 RPM on the street. We know you're more socially responsible than that. <laughs> so, so what we're going to do, we're going to take it, throw it back up on the dyno, and see if we were able to uh, see if we were to get some of the horsepower back that we know these bikes make. Right now, about the only variable is the rear tire. We typically don't um, dyno with this particular rear tire. Hopefully, it'll be okay. If we're tired, we don't really want to do that work, but we will change it if we have to. So, hopefully, we'll get our run in here. Not how long has it been, guys, since our last run? I know about an hour. Okay, not too bad. And uh, just a little bit of work and some attention to details and see what happens. Tesla Torres is like after the changes we made. The last time it made 176 horsepower. Now we've made our changes. We'll see what it does.
BMWs are the same. His bike rolled up with 176 horsepower. Pretty sure he probably thought I was out of my mind. His bike just made 198.16 horsepower. SAE. STD, that's 202.96. Those numbers most people use. <laughs> I think Will's happy. All these things are the same. It's all about the details. All we did was go in, pay attention to some details. Will, be careful right now. <laughs>